Hey, hey, hey. It's been a while since I've been on here talking to you about my paparazzi truth, and I just thought it was the perfect time now to do it since some of my previous upline has left uh, the company. All right, so that way you will know what I'm talking about. When I was involved, hey, welcome, welcome. I'm not actually going to be paying attention to the comments. I'm going to just focus on what I'm trying to do. You can always message me later if you have any questions. But my situation in the paparazzi, when I ran into that big deal where my upline said, oh, it's not about selling jewelry. It's all about recruiting. You need to build a team. If you're not building a team, you need to get out and go sell perfume at Macy's. All right. Now that woman that did that is right here. Okay, she uh, was a six-figure earner that left the company. And she left the company and went to another MLM. But that's her. Now, you got to realize that when she left a year ago, this was I'm talking about my other about it's a people feeding off people company. Like when you leave, you roll up to the one above you and they keep earning off of you no matter what. So that's why they're always wanting you to recruit is because when you leave, someone else is going to earn off of you. All right. So when she left, and this is what I was told in my genealogy, it was she was my upline. Then above her was Heather Dill, which already had left the company. So Heather Dill was already out of the picture and her stuff had all been rolled up. All right, so Heather Dill was gone. And then above her was Rochelle Beachy. All right, so that means when my team leader left, Rochelle Beachy lost all of the income off of her, which she was a um, black diamond buyer. All right, so she lost all of that income when she left, plus all the people under her that also left joined her in her new venture. All right, so then this past weekend, this is a person that was above Danielle Baker. And when she left, this person lost uh, her leg and all that income. All right, so this is the other person and she left this weekend all right so she's gone now too so you can kind of see how it has a ripple effect it's like a pyramid is built like this and as you start losing the bottom it starts crumbling okay and kind of collapsing it into itself so what happened now is another person has left don't mind me <laughs> okay another person has left all right so that's two now when i was there i was also told that it was danielle and then it was Heather, which who had already left. She was out of the picture. Then it was Rochelle. And I was always told that in my line, above Rochelle was this guy, which is Taylor Kirby. All right, now he is the owner's brother, one of the founder's brothers. And I was always told in my genealogy, it went from... Danielle to Heather to Rochelle, then to him. All right, so that means that then he, or everybody kind of rolls up, but he has lost all those people underneath him. So he might be one to keep an eye on because one of his legs has like deflated. All right, I'm not sure um, who else is in it. I don't know. All right, I never kept up on what was going on in it. But that's what I wanted to share today. That's what's going on. In the group I was affiliated with, that's what's happened. They're gone. All right, so now what does this mean? I don't know. Are they worried about paparazzi maybe going to affiliate like a lot of the other companies have? If they go to affiliate, the people will not be able to build this team and will not be able to earn money off other people. Are they afraid that's going to happen? Is that why they've left? The two that I know that have left did leave to join other MLMs. So I'm not really sure why, except I feel it might have been the loss in income because the one person left first. And then a year later, the her person that she was a leg under has now left. And there everybody's recruiting. Now, the first one that left, she has been building a team like crazy uh, with the paparazzi consultants. Now, I know the one that just left this weekend, she has been, uh, or last weekend, excuse me, 
she has been talking about Zoom calls and everything else. So I think she's going to be working on building a team probably based off of paparazzi consultants again, just as well as the other one. And you can actually go look and you can see if you go, you can see where a lot of her people were our ex-consultants. All right, so we've got those two. And like I said, under him. So I know he's lost a big hunk. Because you got to realize these uplines, um, like Michelle Beecher, she was a pink diamond. All right, which is a level above the black diamond. So she was buying at pink diamond level. Then you've got a baker was buying at black diamond level. So all that money has left that company and all that money has left those uplines. All right, so it's kind of interesting what's going on there. And um, to the best of my knowledge, in my direct, I guess you call it a leg or whatever, I never did recruiting, so I don't really know. I think they call it legs. I'm sure they call it legs. And my legs, I think, but amputated pretty much. I'm not really sure, but the two top leaders that were above me are now gone. I don't know who was beneath me because they never talked about that. So I don't know. I never saw the genealogy of how far the leg was, how many people were in it. I don't know. But all I do know is that two major people in that leg are gone. All right, and I don't know what's going on, why they're leaving. You just have to watch and see what's going on. Maybe the company will go to affiliate. If it does, then you'll see all of the people leaving because if they can't make money off people beneath them. And as my sponsor said, that's what it's all about. Then you're kind of out of luck. But I just want to come on here and share that to you with you today. That when I saw that, I just felt I had to share it because that was two people in my direct um, upline aside from Heather Dill, which actually left several years ago. She was in there as well. All right, I hope you guys are having a great day. All right, and I hope you're catching me when I'm doing my um, playing on my PlayStation 5. Every afternoon I'm on my PlayStation 5 live having a good time playing um, Skyrim Anniversary Edition. And if you haven't joined me, I'd like to invite you to join. I have so much fun doing it. I'm on there anywhere from two to three in some odd hours. All right, you can hang out and have a good time on there if you like. All right, thanks so much for joining. Have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oops. Here we go.